It's evangelism aimed at an audience that preachers may not be reaching. We have to win this young hip-hop generation for Jesus Christ, and what we use is hip-hop music. Our music needs to change. Somebody doesn't want to be a player. Somebody don't want to be a thug. Somebody wants to live right. See ya! Help us reach a lost generation before it's too late. Everything you know is what somebody told you. To believe that, believe this. See, none of this will work if you don't believe it. It, it may be so, it may be true, but it will never, ever change your circumstances unless you believe it. Verse 19, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. Oh, get this now, get this. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And put all things, all things under his feet. His feet. Well, if something is under your feet, then your feet must be where? Above or on top of whatever is under your feet. Now watch this. He said, he, watch this now. Pick up on this. And he put, God did, put all things under his, that's Christ's feet, and gave him Christ to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body. The church is his body. The church is his body. The church is his body. If the church is his body, and God the Father put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, then that means all things are under the feet of the church. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Now, that's why I know that only about 19 Christians, if they even that many, really understand this because so many of you operate in, you operate in fear, you operate in envy. Jealousy, spirit of competition, pride, all these things because we see it, see it manifested in the church and the congregation. They haven't understood this yet. They don't know that otherwise we would have all these problems. Everybody would be pulling together, everybody would be working together. Because everything is under your feet. Now I'm going to stick the cherry on. Okay, watch this now. We must know the reality of our redemption in Christ. It is a fact. Verse 1 of chapter 2 of Ephesians. In fact, let's go from verse 22 again of the first chapter and read right on in. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walk. So there must be a lot of Christians that think they're born again, think they're saved, and they're really not. Because they're still walking in the envy, the jealousy, the strife, and all the pettiness that used to be a part of that dead person. Verse 2, and you he made alive who were dead. Now, you did all that stuff when you were dead. You did that when you were dead in trespasses 
and sin. But it says here, in you he made alive who were dead. So that means you're not dead now. But how can you still act like, think like, and talk like you did when you were dead? Maybe you're still dead and you don't know it. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sin in which you once walked. According to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all one conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the other, but God. His great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We must know the reality of our redemption, that we are redeemed. I'm in Denver, and God has just blessed you. Thank you so much. This is just the Oh, my goodness, you blessed me with that broadcast. You don't know how you blessed me. And this is something you can battle the world with, man. I showed it to one of the pastors. They love it. My name is Bruce. I just want to say thank you, sir. I really love this sermon song. I have all you want. You know, Pastor Jones and Crumble and all them. Basically, man, I just want to tell you that this has been a blessing in my life. I know sermon songs and life radio and all that stuff is bumping, and you getting your pub. But, man, it can go up to you if you come out here on the West Coast. For real.